getting over it with Bennett Foddy. This fucking game. Actually, that is me. That's good. That's pretty good. Alright. How angry can we get in the shortest period of time? <coughs> Progress. <laughs> Come on. Get over the fucking tree. Get your hammer. Mm. Eh. Oh. Fuck you. Oh, you're almost there. You're you're almost there. Just get over the tree. Yes. You bitch. Up. You know what? I'll actually put your voice on. Jude, as I have. Or if you left your wallet at home, annoying and you have to go back after spending an hour in the canoe. Look at the speed. If run. you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, oh, and you immediately dropped food on it. Right. If you want an <laughs> argument with a friend, and then later discovered Oof. that they Oof. just returned to their original view. Starting over all right, all right, is harder right, than chill, starting chill. off. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, oh. then what you're about to go right. through might be too much. Feel free to go away and Shut come up. back. I'll be here. You're bitch asshole. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break God at any point. Damn it. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Save my progress. All right. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. You know, it isn't sexy. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time oh, as the fuck. father of B games. God damn it. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Oh. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly mm. games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential right. properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. No. No. Come on. Anyway, when you start Sexy Hiking, ah! you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. A lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, oh, yeah, every pixelated run. obstacle in sexy hiking mm. is real. No, no, no. Mm. Now, here you don't want to go up. And what I need you to do is go up. Whoop. Yes. Fuck! <sighs> Fucking bitch. Up. Up! Yes! <clears throat> Finally. Only took you fucking 800. <coughs> 800. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, Viagra. and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Oof. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic oh. to the process of building a game about climbing. There a funny go. thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new <coughs> obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts right. to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit 
that turns those mountains into something real. Fuck. No, no, you don't go when down. you're building a video game world, the way you go. you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that go. can be played right. with. Now go. And in the process oh. of playing with them, they begin to harden and set oh, until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, <clears throat> you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces Holy and starting shit. fresh with new ideas. <clears throat> Turn your volume up. Don't make me regret it. <clears throat> Opposite way of which you're going right now. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. You're all Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Woof. All right. It's not working. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Predicament here. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, do not fall down. Do not fall down. Oh my God! I'm gonna take that pot and shove it so far up your ass. Up, up, up! For Christ's sake. We got one lamp. We got a second lamp. Come on. Do not fall over. Just go up. For yes. years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, right. bought in a store, and assembled not into to a the world. Left. Okay. And for the most the part, that right. hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. Uh, I mean they're trash in the way that food yeah, becomes trash as uh, soon as you put it in the sink. Right. Things are made uh, to be consumed and used in a certain context. No. And once uh, the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context no. of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. What? Damn it. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh, untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. Be games, be movies, be music, be philosophy. Yes. All right. Go across. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's ground wick. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts no. and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style. Out of sight. Uh, mm. Yes. Come on. Whoop. All right. Now over. In this context, All it's right. tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, Whoop. that lets yeah. you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding uh, if it just gets piled hell? up in the landfill, filed in yeah, with the bland things? Over here. Um. All right, there we go. Ooh. How do I get across this? Yes! No! Alright. No. 
no, 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 no. What? Oh. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless.